We've been looking at a lot of Mythic Plus footage, especially lower keys, funny stuff all around. We've been doing this now since the beginning of Dragonflight and even into Shadowlands, and we had been asking players to record their runs and send them to me when funny stuff happens. I would recommend doing this, like, regardless of if you send it to me. You could learn a lot from looking back at footage, but every once in a while, you'll capture magic. In that time, we've been waiting for the Holy Grail, what I would consider the most egregious low-key disband or failure outright one way or the other. What comes to mind immediately, that would be a plus two disband. Anytime you fail a two, almost like kind of getting embarrassed by the game there, right? Because there's nothing lower than a two. Now, I think like the actual Holy Grail key would be like straight up. These guys just can't finish the dungeon. If that ever happens, you'll know it. It'll be on the channel. We've yet to be submitted that. Instead, we have something very close. Let's take a look. Okay, now that's just one small part of the key, but really it's kind of everything you need to see about this. Now again, we need to remember what level the key is. First of all, as you see here, the tank is trying to gather up the pull here. So at a first glance, you might have missed this. We have two fire mages, so both send a pyroblast in different directions, which is funny on its own. The exact same spell go in two different directions. That one aggros the dragon, but it's a two. Like, come on, dude. I'm pretty sure that you can survive this pull on a two. Like, this should not be difficult but watch what happens here the mobs are being gathered he gathers them in the circle so they're healing you see the guy the dragon like getting fully healed at this point the tank just like I, I mean I don't even know what to call that is that just panic like where is he going watch this again so it all gets aggroed the dragon obviously a very dangerous mob but not really it's a two it's not really that can't, it can't be that dangerous so he gathers all the mobs up but he just kites he just pulls them all into the circle I think maybe it's like somebody has threat on that mob I'm not really sure why there's like different colors on this UI or whatever but they're all standing in it full healing so then he tries to like run all the way over here which I, I mean I can't imagine that's the right choice one way or the other because now nobody can be in the healing circle and then at this point you, you probably can't really see it but like yeah every, everybody's dying the tank dies first I think is he's the first person to die and then uh, the, the player leaves the group that guy pulling that mob and then leaving like that would be a funny thing to look at in like a 24 right and like yeah yeah maybe you'd expect that wipe to cause like the end of a timer there but they are nine minutes into the dungeon when this happens what the hell are you talking this is like a triple upgrade dude something got aggroed by accident it caused a full wipe into two that doesn't even stop it from being a triple upgrade the fact that they can't survive it is you know it's just insane to me it's a two the fact that the tank then drags everything into the circle healing it to full and then runs like a hundred yards away from it after that like you, you had the right idea if everybody stood in the circle it would have been easy and then the guy actually actually leaving i mean it's just that's just that's just something else i don't i don't know where you're going the only good thing about a disbanded two is that it doesn't go down but i think there's a little bit more to the conversation than just this clip so let's keep going in either direction we'll show you some funny stuff first of all his name i mean hate this game if you name your character hate this game i mean what is actually going on in your head i don't even know what to say about that that's that's kind of scary to be honest like legitimately that's probably very unhealthy but anyway he's playing fireman which has been an often talked about spec in a two i mean i don't know how that works nowadays but i can't imagine that makes it very fun to play but yeah this is his first comment these are his opening statements to the group in a mythic plus two he goes thanks for the summon uh sec okay i didn't look at the affixes this week so that statement is i mean we could talk about we can make a whole video on just that statement the first question i have is in that time where he says uh sec is that him going to look up the affixes well guess what in a two there are no affixes 
fixes it. It's just fortified. The only fix is fortified. I don't know. That cracks me up. That kind of stuff just makes me really laugh, especially because then we know that this guy goes on to aggro trash and then leave over that wipe. Like, yeah, yeah. One of the affixes in the key is actually you being in the key. Wow. That's surprising, right? Now, I looked at the rest of this footage like that precedes the actual failure, and it's just more stuff like this. Like, you got three people not standing in the circle. Actually, four people, including the tank not standing in the healing circle. It's just stuff like that. It's a two. None of that actually matters. So, like, that to me indicates, like, you know, this is fortified. This is supposed to be harder trash than bosses. You would think if they're able to fail these mechanics this heavily, it just doesn't matter. They're on route to triple upgrade like to not triple upgrade a two you have to actively try okay well so th so this guy actively tries he leaves the key after pulling the trash for absolutely no reason but the rogue the guy who recorded this says can we just four man this and of course you know again a two you can easily upgrade this key with four players shouldn't really be an issue at all you would imagine but of course you'd be wrong because if it wasn't a problem there wouldn't be a video right i think it's just players just never saw this fight like look at that did you see what just happened there like what watch that again so here's the breath looks like it's not gonna hit those guys they don't even try to move from it so good play on their part i guess doesn't hit them no damage taken there here comes that big expanding ring usually what you do is you jump up in the tornado if you're a death knight you don't even have to jump up you just need to get in it but if you're two mythic plus two players then you just go ahead and stand in it and stand there afk silence afterwards you can also life cocoon yourself when your silence is over but like, so that doesn't even kill them. Like, look at the health bar at the bottom. They're still alive, dude. They ate that mechanic. It's a two. It doesn't matter. The boss is at 54%. They didn't even have bloodlust. Watch, here's another ring coming out. Three, two, one. Boom, hits the Mistweaver. Boom, hits the Mage. Doesn't even try to move. There's the breath. Boom, crushes the Mistweaver, doesn't even try to move, hits the mage, he goes into Cauterize. So they fail the ring twice and then eat the breath. Just straight up don't even try to move from the breath. That's how you wipe to a two. What, what do you even say about that? That's just straight up no idea mechanics exist. The boss couldn't be easier, literally couldn't be easier. It's a fortified two. But it does. It, this guy's, he's a tank, bro. Just solo it. We saw the footage earlier in the season where the guy failed to solo a two boss on a fortified it's like how do you not solo a boss on a two i look even the rogues the rogue can, look at even he could solo this dude look at he might straight up finish this if he went more geared or something like that he'd probably be able to finish that they wipe and the tank's like all right one more try i mean again at this point you still probably can upgrade this usually i would say like 11 minutes or more after this boss is fine this time we got bloodlust the damage was not even a problem at all they were fine the boss was dying really fast but the rogos are we confused about mechanics yeah i think we are but the mage says oh no no i get it now i'm just rusty i just stood in a ring twice and then ate a front all it's because i haven't played in a while that's why chilling breath three two one boom just smacks the misweaver who's just standing still over there hey here's that ring oh okay he's just gonna walk that guy just actually walked into it that time he didn't even try misweaver same thing he's just gonna walk into it watch it again the boss says hey incendian will you marry me three two one marriage proposal accepted stands in it there's the monk right there he doesn't have any concern about the mechanic whatsoever he's just going to also stand in that so the, the straight up have no idea what that mechanic is here it is he that comes out that time he actually moves away from where it spawns so i think he starts to realize how dangerous it is so he's actually going to move out of the mechanic and then he actually goes up into the air this time like look at the misweaver here he's actually going to jump up and i don't know like what actually happens from here on because then he just dies i i don't does he get hit by the breath here i think he must but the breath doesn't look like it hits him and then he just dies like his health goes to zero and he just never healed himself and then yet again this prot warrior is going to somehow not be able to solo save this on a two now probably still uh potentially an upgrade but yeah the rest of the group is now going to disband but there's been something i've been intentionally uh skipping in the footage here and i think you guys might find this kind of funny so throughout the footage he's been inspecting players i mean maybe because he's worried about their dps like if you watch some of the footage you'll see the tank is doing like 20k dps on aoe packs he inspects himself he sees a 4-0 
two player. We see the Fire Mage at 395. We see the Mist Weaver at 378, 347 piece, like some items that could just be upgraded from the auction house. But hey, you know, that's solid. He's at least prepared his character a little bit. Here's the tank. That's the tank. That's the guy we're playing with as the leader of the group. He is 336 item level. That's mostly because he has a fucking heirloom on, dude. The guy has a fucking heirloom on. And you know what else he has on? A fucking Heart of Azeroth on, dude. The guy's got the Heart of Azeroth. He doesn't even have essences in it. Come on, at least if you're gonna wear the Heart of Azeroth in Dragonflight Season 2 Mythic Plus Dungeons, you gotta put some essences in it, man. Seeing that guy have an actual heirloom on just like straight up, like that just cracks me up. That just kills me. 330, I mean, the rest of his gear is fine. He just has two items on that are the wrong, like two expansions wrong. And he probably would have got away with it if the guy didn't leave. But like not being able to solo save that, 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 that was what really turned me on to it. Because I was like, how is that possible, dude? Like, I don't care how bad you are playing a tank. Like, there's no way you can't solo save that for like, I mean, he, he was alone for like a minute, right? That's all he needed to do was live for a minute. So it's close, man. It's close. There's been a couple plus twos that have been submitted to me now. One that was just like straight up super toxic. That group could have easily triple upgraded the key. The previous one, like the title of this video is now superseding the previous title. Like there was another two submitted that I would say is the low point of Mythic Plus bugging. This one's worse than that one. That one was just kind of weird. Like, I don't even really know what to say. That one is in the playlist too. You should check that out. Another failed too. But this one's like, everybody's doing fine. Like literally like, other than the tank having an heirloom on, this is a triple upgrade. This guy leaving, I would say, I would debate that this is more egregious than them actually just straight up failing. I guess the blueprint for failing a two boss is not having a healer, but it's still really hard to understand how these people can't solo save this without a healer. And in both cases, it ends up in a disband. This one was pretty much already over because of selfish players. We talked about that on the live stream recently. It's one thing when you're talking about it in like a 24 or something like that, dude. But when you're talking about it in a two, it's just hard to understand. What's going through a guy whose name is hate this game? What's going through his head when he aggros a mob that I don't know if he meant to do it or not, probably didn't mean to do that. Then they wipe to it and then he leaves instantly. Is it a self-defense mechanism? I've heard a lot of suggestions over the years about that kind of thing. He did something that he's embarrassed by and instead of face the consequences for it, he flees as fast as possible. A little bit more defensible than just like, oh, this group, it's a wipe, I'm leaving now. But either way, it's pretty bad. It's a two, you're still on pace to triple upgrade, bro. Like if you guys are out there running low keys, please, please, please record them. We'll probably get a little bit more of the like low key pugging streams on the Evoker in this season, but I imagine this is where it ends for season two. If this is the last funny, hilarious key that we do a video on in the playlist here, well, we've had some gold. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a compilation of my favorite moments from these clips and the things that happen in season two. If you're new to the channel, I used to make like a big, like long video on all the disbands of the season. I have a spreadsheet with every disband listed for my keys. And at first that seemed like a funny way to do it. But now that we're getting so much good stuff submitted, instead I'll probably just pull from that. If you guys think that would be a video you'd be enjoying watching, especially as the season ends, let me know. I will start working on it. Otherwise, if you guys find any more hilarious clips, super unique stuff, that's what we're looking for here. This is it. We're almost there. That's almost the holy grail. I feel like this is probably going to be the actual worst key we ever review. Maybe someday somebody will submit something that will top it. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed season two. We will see you guys in the next one.